Atlanta. Long vernacular street mural thing. Oh yeah. There's some kind of park. spot to get a sense of it all. There's a bridge. Common wooden inch butterfly. Oh, I see. Pages of species. The street graffiti superimposed. Double crested cormorant. That avid fish chower. Oh, and we're making a claim of bolete presences in addition to the far more likely fly agaric. Oh, and here's an example of the tectonics. Shifts of slate or whatnot as the planet uneasily moved in its sleep some long time ago. Some kind of willow growing on a mid river pier. There's the placid and demure Neponset flowing before us, an old power plant. This is the Milton side. Here I'm on what's probably the Dorchester side, assuming the river is a boundary. Or maybe I'm in Milton, I'm not entirely sure. This is all impeccable new work. Oh, a great view of the old steel bridge. There must have been some kind of rail siding here at one time. Condominium parking lot. Everywhere you turn, old manufacturing buildings that once made things have been repurposed as ways to gouge money out of people for housing. <laughs> the rentier economy from production to gouging rent. Today is a reasonably short excursion. I just mostly wanted to cover the segment between the Butler Station and this part of Milton. There's one other station beyond the air I'll probably call this meeting with the bridge up ahead as my main point for the day. A delightful little urban excursion. Strange concrete triangular thing projecting from the middle. Uh, and there's the distant rumble of the Mattapan trolley line once more. Punctuating this trip, the beautiful little Naponset. Bless it. And in the inevitable this away that away routine, I perpetually pull here along the Neponset. This way it will eventually lead you to far flung and exotic destinations such as Walpole. While this way 
takes you to the mighty Atlantic, Squantum Point in Quincy, and whatever they're able to prepare on the Boston Dorchester side. Roll on, Neponset. Roll on. I'll probably gather a little bit of a sense of the other side when we cross on this bridge up ahead. This is cool. Charming Milton. Yeah, the water actually isn't too turbid up here. You can kind of see stuff below it. A little bit of littering. No good to ever seen is complete without a tad bit of litter. After all. And here we come to a zone of plaques, admonitions, and heaven knows what else to let you know that there's a civic something or other involved. It's a bus stop. Some granite stuff about this river. The first dam built by some fellow named Stoughton, evidently. This little kiosk is a little more detailed and in somewhat better shape than the other one over at Butler. It celebrates the gray squirrel and tells you a thing or two about the rock dove or the pigeon or the rock pigeon. This one's empty. Uh, this one has some stuff about historic sites and whatnot. Urban gardening. More evidence of splendid changes. And here's our pedestrian access to the the Ponds at River Canoe Launch. And presumably the river as well, for those of you uninterested in launching canoes. Cool old tree. And here we are at an opportunity to visit the actual Sure of our beloved Neponset. Well made trail steps. This is where you bring your kayak, presumably. Or your jug of MD2020 as you prefer. Ooh, there's rapids. Nice, so this is probably about as far. Oh, I see, that's something else draining into it, like a side stream. Here we have the river at the shore. God, that is beautiful. I'm gonna look that up when I get back, I'm sure it's noted as something or other. The usual suspect invasives, robust purple loose stripe, and so forth. And butterflies flutter by. Yeah, it's got some kind of ripple over there too. Rift or something. 
And now back up the steps we go. Cross the bridge. The last fond look at the canoe launch access. Back up the bridge. And here's a jingle jally of jangle of the trolley. And turn around and head this way. 